Good afternoon YouTube, this is Jay on the Bay with another update to my channel. Uh, I've, I'm officially now self-employed, uh, unemployed, trying to make it sound a little bit better maybe than what it is. Uh, yeah, I'm officially no longer working for Cash Converters. I um, finished my last day last week, so it's been a very exciting few days for me so far. This is uh, Thursday now, so I'm on my fourth day of working for myself. Uh, just a little bit of a disclaimer, I do actually... I've picked up a little part-time job going back to where I used to work running a pub, but I'm not running it now. I'm just going to be working there a couple of nights a week behind the bar just to give me a little bit of a safety net. Uh, just like 12 to 14 hours a week uh, helps subsidize my eBay income. Obviously, if eBay takes off the way I think it's going to and the way I want to work towards it taking off, then in the near future, I shouldn't need the part-time job. But I'd rather do that and just have a little, be a bit sensible, have a bit of a backup rather than just going organs blaze into eBay. So yeah, just thought thought I'd let you guys know that. I don't want it, you know, I don't want to think that I'm not being honest and, and open with you all about this. So yeah, so um how to talk about my first week. Well it's 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 been an amazing first week really. It, it could not have gone any better. Um I've spent the last few weeks trying to get um trying to use all my money from stuff that I've sold previously to buy more stock to build up my inventory. That's really, really helped. It's given me the confidence to know that I've got a huge amount of stock sat in my storage unit ready for me to list. That uh, So if there's weeks where the pickings are slim, if I'm going out and about places trying to find stock, then at least I can pull, you know, 15, 20 items a time from my, from my inventory and get them listed. So the main thing really has been trying to sort of uh, organise my time and make sure I'm being productive because... It's the kind of thing no one really talks to you about and explains to you that you know, obviously you're working from home, you're working for yourself. This is the first time really that I've done anything like this. And, you know, it's down to you to, to generate your own income and decide your own pace and how quickly you want to work. And I guess that governs how much money you're going to make in the long run. So the way I've tried to look at it is try and work a 40 to 45 hour week as if I was working a full time job. I've tried to structure my days up um, to give me a bit of a routine because I think otherwise it'll just be far too easy to fall into the habit of, you know, sitting around watching a bit of TV, not kicking myself up the arse and, you know, getting in the garage and getting things listed and going out and finding stuff. So I think if I can start my first few weeks with this sort of state of mind in place, it's going to make it a lot easier for me to stick to that going forward. Uh, obviously, you know, I know I can sell things on eBay. That, you know, that's never been in doubt. And I wouldn't be doing this unless I knew that I was fairly good at that. But um, whether that is sustainable as a, as a career, which is what I'm looking to do, that's been the question. So um, what I've done for myself this week now is I've done a little rota. Uh, I've worked on trying to get at least 15 items a day listed on eBay, which I've done so far this week. Uh, it was only 10 or so on the first day. I've spent a little bit of, bit of time in my storage unit organising all those transformers. There'll be a second unboxing video soon coming up of that. I've also been trying to track all my eBay sales. So I've created a, a spreadsheet on Google Docs, which I highly recommend to anybody really. It's a free programme. It's synced across all your devices. Uh, the whole Google network, the whole infrastructure of all their apps and services, I think is fantastic. And we use it for everything in our house. Um, so it means, I mean, I've only got a really old MacBook. I am going to be upgrading that soon to a decent one. So I've just been, um, I've, I've created a spreadsheet where I'm tracking all of my sales as, as the week goes on. I've got my cost price. I've got my selling price. I've got eBay fees, PayPal fees, profit in pounds, and then a profit margin than t totals at the bottom. So I was I was running that through April. Uh, it gave me a good idea of um, you know of how to how to organise and how to track what I'm selling and how much money I'm actually making. I've now started doing it for May, and already in May I'm seeing some really good sales, really good returns on my profits. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's gonna gonna give me just that little bit of structure. Let's me monitor my business a bit better and seeing the items that I'm making money on and the items that I'm not. I will be showing you my sales probably later on in the video as well, uh, just to show you that I won't go into huge detail, but I'm happy to share my figures, show you what I've bought something for, what it's sold for, what my profits are, and then, you know, how much. But already, as I say, I've, I've been tracking it properly since April, but in May, which a class has been the first month of me being formally full-time self-employed, uh, I've already made £320 profit after cost of goods, after eBay, PayPal fees, 
I don't include postage in that uh, because I charge postage separately and that just comes out of my eBay account at the end of every month. So yeah, that's a really, really good week for me. I've had a couple of really decent sales which have helped push that up. But I'd say all in all that's on about 16 items. Um, so yeah, really, really pleased with that. And I think my overall profit margin is about 66, 67%. Now, if you're thinking of going into this full time, these are all things that you guys are going to need to learn about, really. You know, you can't just, uh, you know, you need to have an idea of what you're selling things for and how much you're making on each one and whether it's worth your time. Um, to me personally, I won't sell anything really for less than seven or eight quid unless I've paid pennies for it because it's not worth my time to list it. Take the photos, blah, blah, blah. You know, you know the drill. So. Generally, if I'm selling something for a tenner, I want to have paid like a couple of quid for it at the very most. Um, and yeah, I'll show you my figures and, and you can see that that's what's happened. I have had some really good sales as well, uh, which I'm going to cover that later. But um, yeah, it, it, it's been really good. Um, I've actually paid myself today as well for the first time. I've never taken any money out of my eBay business for me. Now it's my job and it's my career. I need to, you know, I need to make that my income. And again, it's something that you'd need to decide for yourselves. Like, how much do you actually need to make to just keep a, you know, a, a fairly decent standard of life? I've cut back on some things recently, deliberately, just again to give me a bit of a safety net if things don't work out as well as I think they're, they're going to. Um, but all in all, um, I need eBay consistently to make me about 200 to 250 pound a week. I will have my part time job on top of that. Uh, hopefully, as one increases, as I get more items listed on eBay, I, I'll be able to drop my part-time hours. But just at the moment, as I say, two hundred two hundred and fifty pound a week would be great. That's profit. That's after um, cost of goods and after all the fees. So if you work that backwards, uh, then I, I generally need to sell about five hundred, four to five hundred pounds worth of stuff a week on eBay. Let's say all of that stuff's cost me about a hundred, hundred and fifty pound, and the fees on top. That gives me my profit there of like two to 250 in my hand afterwards. Because the, the important thing, and I think that's what a lot of people don't think, is that you're still going to need money from what you've made to buy more stock. So if I allow myself sort of 25% of whatever I make to put back into the business to buy more items, then that'd be good. I don't want to bottleneck myself and say, right, okay, oh, well, I've already spent 100, 150 pounds this week, and then something amazing comes up for sale. I'm like, well, I can't, board, but I can't buy that because I've already splurge my budget for this week so it's good to have like a you know a bit of a, a bit of a, a bubble with that so you know you, you can sort of keep that amount in the bank so what i do i keep one bank account solely separate from my ebay in, and i always have done and then i've just transferred 150 pound this week it's the first time i've ever done that and put it into my own account i've got my last paycheck page we don't say that in britain do we got my last wage coming in from my last job this friday so hopefully from next week onwards, I, I you know I'll be taking a decent amount, and as my items listed on eBay grow, that will increase in line with that. Um, as it currently stands now, I've got 130 active items on eBay. Uh, at the beginning of the week, I started with about 89. So yeah, I'm really really pleased with that. I've got some really good items listed. I've found some fantastic stuff this week. Um, I found a vintage Apple Macintosh computer. I found um, a collection of like eight Nintendo Wii's that I got for pennies basically. They only tested and going through. I've bought a Sony surround sound system. Um, I dragged myself out to the market this morning. Um, it's the first time I've been to one of them in a very long time. Always stayed away from them just because I've been busy with work and I need to get myself in the habit of getting out there and seeing what's there. It was chucking it down with rain. Um, I've got a few little bits. I've got an old JVC boombox. I've got a little tiny little Casio TV. Uh, I might do a separate haul video maybe. Haul video, not haul video. A haul video. i to be careful what I say. Um, and show you the bits that I've picked up this week or maybe just wait until I've sold them I don't know how I'm going to roll with that yet um, what else have I found? yeah I found some good bits and pieces I went around uh, one of the local towns yesterday spent about 2-3 hours around town having a mooch spent about 40-50 quid on stock but probably got about 150-200 pounds worth of stock back for that so yeah you know you're thinking about it in your head you need to be finding whatever you need your eBay sales to be that's how much stock you need to be finding every week as well. You, know, you need to be able to consistently be able to say, I can go out there and find that £500 that I need to make on eBay to give me the profit to the £200 to £250 to, so that I can live. 
So yeah, that's that's they're the important numbers that you need in your head. Average sale price is a good good number as well. Obviously, the, the higher the better. Uh, it means you've got to do less work. Uh, higher ticket items are harder to find, but I'd rather sell one item for fifty quid than five items for a tenner. So yeah, I am trying to pursue those higher items now, and I, you know, I'm getting a much better idea of what to look for. Uh, you can see all the little Funko Pops there in the background. This is our snug. Uh, this is our room where we've. Um, it's like a games room and TV room and stuff. It's got all our really cool media and things in here. So we lo we love it in here. Absolutely great. I'm um, sat on my um, arcade cocktail table at the moment. Uh, Mrs. won't be very happy, but yeah, that's that's cool. Um, so yeah, so all in all, I'm really, really pleased with how it's gone. So I'm so far only four days in. I'm going to say to myself that I'm going to, going to try and do 40, 45 hours a week. Um, I've got an Amazon FBA shipment um, waiting to go off as well. Uh, so that's something I'm pottering with, but I, I don't really do it in a big way at the moment. If, if I find that I've got a lot of free time, or more free time, then, then I'll pursue that a little bit more. Uh, what else have I done this week? Uh, I've been out a couple of times picking up stuff to find. Um, just been listing really, um, had a more clear out of more old stock stuff, just been through a load of DVD box sets that I've sat on for 2-3 years and they're just completely without value now so I took like a, a huge case full of DVDs and things to the charity shop the other day and hopefully they can benefit from them. Again these are things that are going for like 2-3 quid on eBay so just not worth my time to be honest. Um, my plans for the rest of the week are, well, um, I'm going to go out to probably press statin in a bit when I pick the kids up from school and do a bit more sourcing. Uh, tomorrow I probably might organise um, some more of my Transformers and film another video ready for that. Um, probably get another 15, 20 items listed on eBay. Um, I might need to get some stuff from the unit for that. So yeah, all in all, it's been, it's been a really, really positive first week of doing it. It's It's... It's given me peace of mind to know that I can go out and find stuff, that there always will be stuff there to find if I look for it, because that's what you need. Because eventually all the stuff that I currently own is going to dry up and, you know, everything's going to be listed and then it's just going to be ticking over and just be getting my sales here, sales there. So I need to be constantly replenishing that. So I have got the confidence now to say that, yeah, I will be able to find stuff and, you know, I, I, it would be great if I got to the point where I was turning stuff away because I haven't got the time to list it and, you know, I'm too busy with other things. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Got a couple of plans in the pipeline for the next few weeks. I need to get myself a decent PC because I want to start, A, doing some video editing and, B, creating um, business cards and flyers and that on Photoshop. Now, I haven't got, as I say, a decent PC. Um, I'm quite good on Photoshop, quite good with sort of graphic design and that. I'm not an expert, but I'm all right. So I could be able to hand out business cards. I want to advertise on Facebook, and then I can do that once I design a banner and obviously be able to edit my videos a little bit better rather than just using my phone, which I am doing at the moment. So, yeah, my plan for next week is to um, maybe look into getting a new PC and also talk with a, um, a local removals firm that my brother works for about the possibility of um, helping out with some house clearances, um, seeing what their sort of options are and how they, you know, decide what stuff they keep, what they get rid of, and if there's a potential there for me to buy stock off them to sell on. Um, and yeah, hopefully that might be a little avenue in the future. But yeah, it's um, just wanted to say that you know we've gone and done it and push, push myself off of the deep end and. Hopefully, if there's anyone watching, you think that this can inspire you guys to go and do it, I definitely recommend it. But just please make sure first that your infrastructure is in place and, you know, you're financially secure enough or you've got enough stock that will enable you to go and do that and make that leap. Because to be able to have done what I've done and, and like command my own time by working for myself and saying, right, OK, it doesn't mean I'm going to bum out and just be lazy. I'm just, you know, I'm going to work and work hard. But all that money and all that hard work is directly going to be putting cash in my pocket and my family's pocket rather than somebody else's. Uh, and I think that, that is like an amazing thing to treasure just to be able to sort of decide when and how much you want to do and, and, and where you want to go. It's it's brilliant. It's really, really liberating. And it's really freed me up. Um, I'm really into the idea of financial independence and early retirement and stuff. And it's not actually a case of like just deciding to stop working, but more a case of like choosing how you work and when you work uh, and living a sort of like a sort of fairly frugal life. But, 
you know, calling your own shots and, and being your own boss and doing your own thing. So I think something like selling online is the perfect thing for that because you can dictate your own pace um, and choose how much or how little you want to do. So yeah, all in all, absolutely amazing. And thanks for sticking with me through my videos. Uh, subscribers are, are coming up nicely. I don't think I'm going to go into this YouTube thing in a massive way, but I, I would like to make out, would like to carry on making consistent videos. If you are, lot want to carry on watching them, then that'd be brilliant. Um, you've been watching me for a quarter of an hour today, so I think that's quite enough. Um, be sick of my voice by now. So uh, until next time, um, I'll see you guys all soon. And please remember to sub subscribe, share, and like. Put a little comment down again if there's anything you want to know about the ins and outs of selling online all the ins and outs of setting up your own business. Um, I'm not an expert, but obviously I have learned a lot from doing this. So if I can give anyone any help or any advice, I'd be more than happy to. Uh, I will be showing you as well what my sales have been for the last week. It's gonna be a bit of a boring video, but I'll show you on the computer what I've sold stuff for, what I've paid for, and then what my profits have been. So yeah, just keep an eye out for that one. But yeah, so this is like my, my first sort of formal video of me being full on self-employed. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's given you some information and inspiration. And uh, thanks everyone for watching. Take care. Goodbye.